A new invasive pest is threatening Hawaii's cattle industry. And so far, experts don't know how to get rid of it. Jen Beniza reports. Cattle are the third most important commodity produced in the state. Now an invasive species no larger than the size of my pinky fingernail are threatening the multi-million dollar cattle and grazing industry. The two-lined spittlebug was first discovered on the Big Island in 2016. It's a small leaf hopper, black with two orange stripes on its back. A rancher noticed that um, their grasses weren't doing so good. They were losing some of their grass. The grass was dying. And uh, she caught the bug and brought it into the university's extension office. Experts think the bug probably got to Hawaii from the mainland through potted plants. Despite its tiny size, it's wreaking havoc on the Big Island, killing roughly 35,000 acres of land a year. It's completely transforming the landscapes. We confirmed the pest uh, was impacting um, about 175,000 acres in West Hawaii. Its population explodes during the summer. Kikuyu and pangola grasses are very, very important to our livestock industry. About 70% of the cattle industry in Hawaii relies on kikuyu grass to some degree. And um, all of the upcountry areas of Maui and Waimea and Kohala, those beautiful green rolling hills that everyone loves, those are all kikuyu grass. Hawaii's cattle industry brings in more than $68 million annually. The bug is already forcing ranchers to call their cattle. So in the last year, probably had to downsize our herd by 15%. And the future looks that I will just keep having to downsize. We're all farmers. We're grass farmers. And you don't have the grass. You can't sustain the animals to produce beef. And that's what we do. We turn grass into beef. Experts don't know how to get rid of it. We don't want to spray a bunch of chemical on the pasture that our cattle are grazing. So they're trying to find plants resistant to the pests that are still suitable for grazing. It's daunting and, and um, it kind of is depressing because the alternatives aren't really there that are practical. Foresters and conservationists are also worried. It could even impact Hawaii's watershed. We don't even know yet the full effect that this new pest is going to have. Alve Loa hopes this will push the state to fund its biosecurity programs to prevent this from happening again. For more information on the two-line spittle bug and what's being done to stop it, log on to cage12.com. Jen Boniza, cage 12 News, working for Hawaii.